So greetings from Pennsylvania once again, and we are still here in Michaux State Forest, here in South Central Pennsylvania. I'm kind of on my way home. There's a place here that I was thinking about stopping at, but I wasn't sure, but it's only three o'clock, and it's right on my way home, so we're gonna stop in. Um, it should look familiar. We were here a couple weeks ago. Let me show you. So this is camp site number 13 here in Michaux State Forest, the, the EUB camp. And of course, when we were down there, because I did a little, bit of, a little bit of a tour of the campsites here in the northern part of Michaux State Forest. Of course, we're right off of, this is Route 233 right here. I think that's Milton Burger Road. We're just north of Caledonia State Park. And this ended up being one of my campsites I like the most. But uh, I was uh, curious as to what EUB meant, and we found some interesting things back here that suggested that there's some human activity back here in the past. And in that video, I was very curious to do some more searching around, but I had a, I had a mission that day to get to some other places. It was getting late, snow was coming, and we had to get going. But anyway, I got some time today before I gotta hit the road, home home. So let's go check it out again. I think EUB stands for Evangelical United Brethren, a church denomination. I'm not sure if that denomination exists anymore. I think it might have changed names or joined with another denomination. I did some research a little while ago, but I, I, did, I hadn't refreshed my memory on that, so I think it was some kind of church camp. Um, in that video I was here last time, I think I asked people if they know what it meant, but as of today, I haven't, as of filming today, I haven't posted that video. Today is February 10th. So we're gonna go have a look around again. Beautiful day to do it. It's like almost 60 degrees today. It's amazing. <laughs> it's not gonna stay that way. It's gonna get cold again, but it's a great, makes for a great day of just exploring comfortably. Yeah, I remember this being one of my favorite campsites in that video. I think it was a two part video, but it is quite a haul. Well, I should say, I mean, it's not terribly long, but for you gotta go up and around yet and back back up that way to haul all your camping gear. But you can, I was looking up, you can buy like these little camping carts to like, like a wagon that's like a collapsible wagon that you can put in your vehicle and then unfold it and use it to carry a bunch of stuff up here so you don't have to make as many trips. So I have to look into that. Yeah, and just a little bit up from where we just were is the camping area. The, the picnic table is actually behind that mound of dirt. So there's a trail up this way called the EUB Camp Trail. I don't know if we'll go up, hike up that way or not, but there used to be a gate here, you can see. The remnants of it, there's a post there and here. You can see like the, the metal work that holded the post in. I think this, they, they would swing. This was swung closed like this one, but it's obviously rotted away. Another post up there. Well, that's probably just, when the bar swung open, it would hit that one there. So we're gonna, we start down here where the campsite was. So like I said, I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I was hoping to, anyway, hear comments from that video. First time I was here, but I didn't get that video up yet or uh, um, published yet. As of today, to see if anybody knew more about what this was. Here's the actual campsite. This is all flat throughout here. Kind of clear, some large pine trees. That indicates human activity. Yeah, I like this site here in the pines. You can hear, you can hear the highway traffic though. Huh. But it's just kind of like a nice little spot, though. But now that I'm here on a busier highway day, when I was here weeks ago, it was cut, it was starting to snow and stuff. Not many people were on the road. It was a lot more quiet. But anyway, I mean, towards the evening, when you're camping here, that road isn't so busy. But anyway, all right. So this is when I was here last time. This is the main thing that I saw. I'll show you here. Definitely a raised area right here. This is all man-made right here. It's pretty large pine trees. Circles around. 
there's an opening right here and then it continues on through here oops so what what was in here almost like there was water in here it's washed out right there that's where whatever was in here if it was water went out that way looks like it still does on occasion there's like a little path for it to go so But this in here is, is a ditch, almost, whoops, almost like a canal. Let's see what's up over here. Just don't see anything sticking out. Yeah, this razor goes all the way up through. So let's just follow this for now. If it was for water, the water had to come in somewhere. And it just gets deeper though. And it seems it almost just kind of end up here. Let's get up here though. As I look back, you can see how deep that is in there. Yeah, that's man-made. So there is a stream flowing through here, almost like this dike almost was built here to divert the stream into here. That's what it looks like. But now it continues on like its original course. Let's get a find a way across here. Um, that's not too bad. Uh, let me get back to you. <laughs> Just in there is where I was, and there's that raised area. There's like an old road right here, though, coming through. I want to quick check something up there in a moment, but there's like a. Oh, I'll show that to you in a moment. <laughs> Let's go up here quick. Getting distracted. You just. Yeah, this caught my eye. Just another. Uh, a dugout area right here. I don't know. Or, or it actually looks like someone just came in through here with a bulldozer and moved some dirt up. Alright, let's get back this way. Yeah, but our water flows under here. There's like a bridge right here. You see the water go under. There's a, there's a pipe and it comes out over into here. Yeah, and that's where we were earlier, that raised area. Let's go this way a little bit. I have absolutely no plan for this video. <laughs> Just kind of wandering around. But that raised area continues on this way. So again, there's where the water's coming in. We came from that, there's that raised area. And along here is like raised up. It almost looks like the towpath trail on, the, on our canal videos. Like here's the canal, and there's the towpath trail. I get stick back there though. It looks like there's kind of a trail right here. So let's go up here a little ways. Let's go exploring. Not sure if this is an official trail or just where people go. So maybe there's something back here. In our canal, our uh, canal, it's not a canal, but it keeps going. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe there was a sawmill or something back here. 
That's like the mill race or something. I don't know. Uh, okay, we have something interesting now. First I saw this. There's a pond up in there. But there is some kind of a dam right here or water control thing. Yeah. Huh. So this raised area is to divert the water this way. That creek that's coming down is diverting it this way. And they probably had like some kind of gate here to control the water coming through here to get over to this pond area. So it's, yeah. I'm not sure how close we can get to this. Obviously seen better days. <laughs> yes, those, you know, the EUB camp, was this a pond? A lake for swimming? Or is this associated with the sawmill? Unless the nice sawmills had like a, a, you know, a pond for the, well, you know how sawmills went, but anyway. Maybe, let's go walk up that way a little bit. Looks like we can get up through here. Because this is all built up here, up here. This is like a dam holding the water in. You can see it's raised up. And up here is where the water is discharged, I think. Yeah, they have like a stone culvert here. Probably a pipe down there. That's where the water comes out from this little pond. Huh. Uh, where do we go now? I uh, would maybe we'll just keep going this way. You can see the rocks they use and stuff to make this. Oh, here's something. Okay. Um, looks like there's another stream that comes in from over there. And that's what's really feeding the pond these days. And what is this? Okay, looks like the water. Whoa, that's sinking in there. Looks like the water. I see water flow coming out there. I said she come. Yeah, so. I don't know. Has something to do with the water, I guess. Yeah, I'm still just wondering what exactly. Because it looks like that broke off. It got pushed that way. Almost like water is flowing this way. But anyway. Well, let's keep going. This is, there's. It's stuff to see back here. All the little remnants of whatever was here. Yeah, you can see that stream flowing in now. It's quite a current right here. And then there's that mystery. Hmm. Cause this uh this dam breast keeps going up that way. You can see it go up off through the woods there. So this all here would be filled with water too. Yeah, because right here's another a concrete piece right here. I just keep following this. This looks like the edge of the of the pond here. There's a ditch that goes up that way yet. But I'm not sure if I'll go continue up this way yet. All right, so we were over there earlier where that concrete thing is and had gone up that way a little bit, but now I'm coming this way. Where we had come in was way up there. So I'm just gonna, let's go this way since we're here. Let me try to get closer to the pond area.
All right, gotta find a way across. This is that stream that's flowing into the pond from the other side. I think we can make a leap from there to there to there, probably. As long as there's, oh, that's mucky. Oh, that's collapsing. Oh, that worked. Other side. All right, where to now? Um, let's go up here. Looks like we're just gonna travel all around this pond area. So this could be something up here. That pond area is just off to our left. Um, I don't know. Almost looks like the place intentional. I mean, that looks like a kind of a circle. Maybe an old campfire ring. I don't know. No foundations of any kind yet. That's what I'd really like to find. But, uh, yeah. Where to go now? Oh, I think this is that old road again. Yeah, that's what this is. We came up this way and I looked down and there was that one uh, dam I saw off the little door in it for water control. And it, you know, back into the lake and then we kind of went around the lake. So let's, that's what this is. Maybe just go ahead and switch just a little bit. We have time, so let's let's go. Or else I won't be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> it's like, where did that road go? Uh, if it gets too thick, we'll let it go. But. Okay, so I was making my way back along this old road. That ditch is over here, but I look, you know, I'm always looking around when I'm walking. And I looked up there, and I see something interesting. Let me see if I can zoom in on it for you. Yeah. What is that? We gotta check that out. Looks like a little spring house or something. So let's see how easy it is to get up there. It's kind of mushy in here. More than a little mushy, but all right. Uh, the turning off for a little bit here. Almost there. Oh, yeah, it's where the water comes out. Well, it's not as big as I thought, but still, it's rather interesting. Cool. Huh. Can hear the water in there. Cool, clean water. Yeah, so from way back there, it looked a little bit bigger, but it's still a cool find. Maybe the best find so far of this little adventure. I guess if I really wanted to, I could crawl in there, but I think we'll let that go. All right, so back that way is the campsite again. I'm gonna explore. I'm gonna keep exploring a little bit. Um, like I said, I still lean towards this being some kind of church camp. Maybe that was their pond or the lake they swam in. Or who knows, maybe there was some, like a sawmill or something else here prior to that. And they built the lake first. I don't know. If you know, let me know down below in the comments. I'm just gonna guess in here. Farewell to our little, I don't know what you call it, I guess you'd call it a little spring house. This looks like an old road coming up here too, right to this spot. I keep thinking I see things elsewhere, but anyway. Oh, I feel like there's an, yeah, I'm just gonna let that go. Almost like an indentation up there. 
I gotta check it out. No, I don't think it's any. I think just a lot of... Looks like some digging might have been done up here at one point, but... Anyway, all right, let's head back down. Yeah, here's that open area again. The, the campsite with the picnic tables way up there. It's a pretty cool area. See, even up here, it looks like they were... Like, there's mounds of dirt. Okay, it looks like there's a building here. It's like a rectangular... There's some... cinder blocks here. Like a foundation stone. Yeah, and there's definitely a, a corner right there. So there was some kind of little building right here. like there's an old looks like a road going up through there so a little building right here what's with all the piles I guess hmm. I, mean, I guess that all these piles of dirt are from this old road right here being built Not sure if this is an established trail or not either, because it could be. Yeah, down there's the picnic table. And just about when all hope is lost of finding anything else, I look up here. Huh. That looks like an old outhouse. That's intriguing. Of all the things we left standing, that's what it looks like. Creepy one. What's in there? Oh, it's a two-seater. Three-seater! Whoa! That's a deluxe! I mean, you can have a party in here. Looks like someone did. Heineken. Huh. I'm not sure what the purpose of a three-seater is. Because, I mean, I'm not gonna... You know, I'm not gonna share my <laughs> private time with someone. I've never seen a three-seater before. Alright, there you go, folks. You saw it on the Wandering Woodsman channel. Well, I think that just made the video for me, or the Explorer. I mean, it was fun to see the other things, but <sighs> a three-seater outhouse. Yeah. All right. There's an outhouse still out here. I wonder if there's anything else still out here, but. All right, I am, we are losing daylight though. Yeah, it's almost four o'clock. I mean, it's lighter a little bit later these days, but anyway. Might be time to start wrapping things up a little bit here. Now we found that. It's probably more out here, but that was cool. Yeah, so there is a trail that goes up that way. We looked at that broken gate already. Gate already. I think that's called the EUB Camp Trail. Don't really have time to hike up that today, but I think we'll start heading back. Back there was the campsite. That's kind of where we started with all those, what do you call them, raised areas. All right, pretty cool. Glad we stopped in again. But let, me do, but let me know down in the comments, would you ever use a three-seater outhouse with anyone? I guess if you're married and sharing it with your spouse, I guess so. Or your significant other, if you're okay with that. I mean, depending on what you're doing in there. If you have, <laughs> it could get too smelly, I guess. But anyway, I'm not so sure. I guess if I was really close to someone, it'd be okay, but not with just anybody. But let me know down below. Would you, sh yeah, would you share that with a stranger? If you, if you had to really go, you know, for me, that'd be a no. But anyway, just have a little fun in the comments, I guess. All right, but I'll be at then, folks. I'm, I've had a long day here in Michaux State Forest. Always fun, always so much to explore here. We're going to go home. <laughs> Thanks for coming along, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one, wherever that may be.